Okay, so this is the 2004 question for no calculator AP free response question. It gives you a curve that is not a function. Consider the curve given by x squared plus 4y squared equals 7 plus 3xy. First step is to show that the derivative is that. They want you to prove it. And to kind of help get the video rolling here, I made these out. So if I blow this up. We got to do implicit differentiation. You got to show steps. All right? So for letter A, it's important that we I write the equation here first. And then what I do is I take the derivative of, of each part. The derivative of 2x x squared is 2x. The derivative of 4y squared is 8y, y prime. I wrote in the derivative of 7 and 0. We probably wouldn't have to show that. Then we have to do the product rule on 8x, y. Uh, the product rule. So I take, I always do the derivative of x first. So the derivative of x is 1, so you end up with 3y. The derivative of y is 1, y prime, so you get that. And then you also have some arrows. Because one of the things I want to do here is look at the original problem. And I see it's 3y minus 2x. So I make sure that I get the proper sign. 2x is positive. So I send it to the other side. And I send this to the other side. And I do two steps at once here. I factor and show the subtraction. And finally I do the division. All right, that you solve for y prime is a point from here to here, and that you did implicit differentiation, this step is a point. So two points, letter A. I'm going to group this back. Letter B says, show that there's a point P with an x-coordinate 3 at which the line tangents the curve at P is horizontal. Find the y-coordinate. First of all, horizontal. we got a picture of the horizontal line. We know the derivative of a horizontal line is 0. So I know y prime equals 0. And I know the point is 3 comma some value. And I think that's what I started on letter B. Yeah. All right? Now, I think these are important facts because I'll tell you right now, this is a point right here that you showed the derivative of 0 at P. And then what I did is I simply plugged in 3 for x into the derivative equation right here. 0 equals y prime is 0 and we knew x was 3. I get that I can do this. I check. I solve for the top being 0 which is y equals 2. I check that y equals 2 does not make the bottom 0. Alright, so y equals 2 makes the derivative 0. But the million dollar question is 0.32 in the original equation. And I'm talking about checking it all the way back to this equation right here. So I substitute 3 for x, 2 for y, and I do a little check here, and I show that it's on the original curve. So the answer is y equals 2. I show that the slope is 0 at 3, 2. I show that y equals 0, and I show that it's on the original curve. Those are three points. So a point for this. This and this has to show that you put on the original curve and then a point for that. Three points. All right. Lastly, it says find the value of dy, dy dx second like derivative at point P found in part B. Does the curve have a max? Well, min or neither justify your answer? This is one of those times where if you didn't get B, you might as well just roll on because immediately you know you can't hardly do any work with C. Perhaps you could do the second derivative if you had time, and that's probably where I would start. Um, that will be some credit, and we'll go from there. But I start with knowing I did know. My board created a little finish, and we'll get rid of this. I did know point three two from letter B, and I knew the first derivative. I just rewrote it here, and I knew that y prime at p is zero. We don't want to forget that fact. So the first thing I do is just take the derivative of y prime. And again, this has to be the quotient rule. There's no other way to do it. So the derivative of the top is 3y prime minus 2, and then this times the bottom. The derivative of the bottom is 8y prime minus 3 times the top. All right? And that's all over the bottom square. This is the quotient rule, guys, where I made this f and this g. And f prime g minus g prime f over g squared. And there's an important point. I don't do any solving. 
I know these facts. This is big for us. I'm not going to solve. I'm not going to simplify. I know y prime is 0. I know y is 2. And I know x is 3. And I am going to substitute all those values in for this disaster of a problem without simplifying. There's no reason to simplify it, buddy. When I do that, I get the number shown here. And if you pause the video, you can put the numbers in yourself and check. The big thing we get here is that this comes out to be a negative number, all right? I caught a little mistake here. This is that. So this is this comes out to be, and we're all done and simplified to negative two sevenths. All right. So that you did the derivative. So even if you were struggling with part B, the derivative here is worth two points. All right. This value is worth one point. And I had a math mistake. I wouldn't have gotten it. I took three times three and got six. All right. But I would have got the last thing, which was since y prime was equal to zero and y double prime is less than zero, by the second derivative rule, the curve has a maximum. And you've got to say this for sure. And I think it's important to say this. All right, everybody, if he's getting close, keep practicing.